what happens after going to Harvard conference? We go back to our respective countries and our friends wait for us and they will ask us, hey, tell us about your experience in Harvard. What did you learn from H. Ware? Oh my God, I hope I can experience the same thing, right? And it overwhelms us. And as we sit here today at Austin, Gala Dinner, we listen to H. Ware X talks, we see each other. 200 delegates chosen from thousands and, th and thousands of applicants. It's amazing how lives and different stories get interwoven. It's amazing how we change one another in the process of this four-day conference. And in this short talk, I'd like to tell three things. Number one, what happened to me before I first went to Harvard? Two, what happened during my first Harvard experience? And three, what happened after and today? And hopefully in those three experiences, you can learn something. Before I went to Harvard, I was depressed, clinically depressed. I was taking antidepressants and I stopped studying it was my fifth semester in UPLB, but I stopped studying. And, and I said, God, why did my suicidal attempts fail? So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a suicide survivor. I'm a survivor of bullying. Fast forward. November 2013, I saw Lance post in the Philippine Debate Union Facebook group about Harvard Conference. And I was already recovering from depression. I gave it a try. I got accepted and wow, it was surreal like I had passport and visa in two months raised funds I went to Harvard and my motivation was I I wanted to prove to the world that UBLB is the best school but you know what happened age fair and Harvard changed my heart I went home with a different heart and a different set of eyes Harvard made me see how beautiful the world is and how we should move fast because the beauty is only shared by a few. But most of all, it taught me what humility is. I said that I went there to tell the world that UPLB is the best, right? But it actually taught me what life is about. Life is not about being the best. It's about... Life is about being able to bring out the best in people. And you don't have to worry to expose your flaws to the world because all of us have our own stories. And so as we go back to our respective countries after this conference, we shouldn't be pressured that, oh my God, I went to Harvard, I should be a different person, like they, they should look at me as someone very esteemed. No, we are still who we are, only with changed hearts. And I hope it changes us in a way that we are compelled all the more to help people. When I went to Harvard, it wasn't just the beautiful place and all the books that I saw that that changed my life. It's actually the people I met, not just through H. Fair, but some of the Harvard students and faculty that I got to encounter. So that's the second thing. The third part is what happened after. Today, UB Project for Asian and International Relations just got recognized or the UB Pair. It's the first partner organization between um, H. Fair and UB in the yeah, in, in UP system. So it started in UPLB. And what are the lessons that I hope um, I can share with you as I shared my story? Um, one, don't let the impact of Harvard Conference end with you. When you go back to your hometowns, when I go back also to my hometown along with my friends who are here with me today, uh, we will extend the impact not just by mentoring future applicants. We will also reach out to sectors that are being talked about in this conference. Like if your topic is uh, health and social policy, how can you reach, reach out to that sector and communicate what you learned from this conference? It is almost five minutes and this is just an excerpt of the video, or this video is just an excerpt of the 10 to 15 minute talk. I really look forward to see you this February at, at HBear. God bless and if we change together, together we change the world. Make dreams happen. With Christ, we can. I'm Grace Aguilera from UPLB, and this is my H. Fair story. Thank you.